Becoming a member of Congress has made my life miserable. I made a lot more money before I got here. I've lost money since I've gotten here. I have people come up to me and say crazy things to me um, out of the blue in public places um, that they believe because they read it on the internet or, or saw it on some, some news show about me. Marjorie Greene is ranting and raving about how life in Congress is miserable. And she also wonders why people believe weird stuff about her as if she doesn't say weird stuff all the time. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, I'm an American citizen. I pay your salary through the taxes that you collect from me through the IRS. I'm a woman, I'm a female business owner, and I'm proud to be an American woman. And I do not support your socialist policies. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens. She, I don't know, why do people believe crazy things about her on the internet? It's not like there's video of her doing and saying insane things all the time. But the most important thing about this story, I wouldn't even say important, the most interesting thing about this story is how Republicans like her love to make generalizations about the American workforce and workers in general, like how lazy they are and how we should means test everything. But then she complains about having to work year round. Stay tuned for that clip. But Jenk, I want to give you a chance to jump in. Yeah, there's two parts of the her talking about being harangued. Uh, one is, oh, stuff they heard in the news. Yeah, out of your own mouth, either on tape or the things you wrote down on Facebook. We give the exact quotes. They hate being quoted, it's hilarious, right? If it's out of context, tell us it's out of context. If it's if there's something we don't know, fill us in. You've got a giant microphone, people are listening to you 24 seven. You never did because those are your actual quotes. And you're. it's good to see though that you're apparently slightly embarrassed. But the second part is, it's like, can you believe that people are bothering me when I'm now a member of Congress? I mean, we just showed you the tape of her when she was not in Congress bothering in her words, Alexandra Ocasio Cortez, as she put it. She's like, hello, I'm an American person. Come out here, you coward. Are you a diaper? <laughs> and now she's saying that too many people are coming up to her. I mean, if anyone does not have a leg to stand on, it's the one shouting through the mailbox. Okay. <laughs> so Yep. Hilarious. Now, there's more from her rant. I think uh, this portion of it is revealing. Let's watch. The nature of this job, it keeps members of Congress and senators in Washington so much of the time, uh, too much of the time, to be honest with you, that, that we don't get to go home and spend more time with our families, our friends, um, and, you know, all in our district, or maybe just be regular people because this job is so demanding. It's turned into practically year round. And, and for those of us in the House of Representatives, we have to run for Congress every two years. So you're practically campaigning nearly the entire time that you're here serving as a representative. It's not a life that I think is is like um, something that I enjoy uh, because I don't enjoy it, but I'm committed to this job because I believe in it. You know, I really do sympathize with Marjorie Green here, and I, I want her to spend more time with her family. It's really, really important that she does that. So she should, she should step down. She should totally step down, go be a mom, and uh, enjoy your life. Because turns out, yeah, when your job title requires you to, you know, legislate and govern the country, it does seem to be a year-round thing. You know, like yeah. most jobs tend to be year-round things. Yeah, that's the part that got me. I mean, she <laughs> says throughout uh, the video about like, oh, we gotta show up to work. What the hell? I didn't know there was an actual <laughs> job here. I thought I'd just chitter chatter with everybody and yap away. What the hell? This turns out to be a job. I have to be in DC. But I mean, look, that's like, it is a very right wing thing to feel like entitled to the money without having to work for it. Yeah. Right? They just. It's such a different mindset, it's hard for us to understand them. They're like, why? Why would I ever have to work? You should just get the money, just give me the goddamn money, right? By the way, government sucks, I can't believe they hand out money to people. By the way, That's what you're asking for, you're asking to get government money for not working. But the part that got me was, it's like year round. <laughs> Are there a lot of jobs that aren't year round? <laughs> Were you I mean, a seasonal migrant worker before? 
Okay, what do you mean it's year round? By the way, yeah, most of our jobs are year round. Let's also just address how many recesses Congress takes. They're like they're constantly oh, on recess. It's the easiest job in the world, guys. Because remember, I ran for Congress once, so I looked up their schedule because it seemed like there were like, and I'm like, oh, I want to come back to LA because my family's here and stuff, right? Oh my God! All of August off, all of December off, like giant two week stretches off, two week stretches off. I'm like they barely work. And she gets there, and then the softest schedule you've ever seen half the year is not, they're not even there. And she's like, oh, I have to work. By the way, she's a populist. I know, I know, it's hilarious. <laughs> and, and by the way, we're currently, like, take a step back, take a look at our economic landscape right now, where we have such a tight labor market that employers are forcing employees to work mandatory overtime. Okay, so there, there is no, hey, uh, I'd like to take the entirety of August or December off uh, to vacation with my family or enjoy the holidays with my family for the ordinary worker. And guess what? The ordinary worker not collecting $174,000 salary every year like Marjorie Green is. Yeah, she claims she was making more money before. I don't know what kind of thing she had going on with that cross fitness business that she was running. They say she co-founded it, so yeah. I guess you're still making money from it if you're a co-founder. I don't I don't know, but apparently she's just she like she's so wealthy that she can't relate to someone making $174,000 a year for a, basically a part-time job. She's like, "Oh. Oh, do you real people have to do jobs like this?" <laughs> Meanwhile, by the way, if you said, "Hey, can you raise the minimum wage to $7.25?" For the whole year, if you work the whole year with no vacations at all, that's fifteen thousand dollars a year, right? She'd be like, "No way!" Not she would be. She is. They're they under penalty of law. Her side will not raise the minimum wage. She thinks fifteen thousand dollars a year is too much for you, but for her, a part time job for one hundred seventy four thousand dollars way too little. And if you notice, she was also complaining about having to campaign, right? You know what that means? It doesn't mean going to the local fair. That's not what she's complaining about. It's about fundraising. Mm. Well, Marjorie, I got news for you. You don't have to kiss that much donor ass. You could choose to kiss less donor ass. I know you're one of the elites now, and it's amazing how quick they turn. Yep. I mean, that was right like that wasn't that long ago when she was yelling in the AOC's mailbox slot. Yeah, I'm an American person, right? And now all of a sudden she's in Congress. And boom, next thing you know, she's like, oh, I'm with the donors too much now. I'd like a little break from the donors. Right. Uh, I, I'm getting tired of puckering up for them. Be careful, Marjorie Green. It's the only value the GOP sees in you. You're the top fundraiser for the Republican Party. And that's the only reason why they deal with you in the first place. And I'm telling you what they're all thinking internally. I'll tell you that right that now. That she's a lunatic? No, 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 no. They, they all think like her. Um, no, I mean the Marjorie Taylor Greens, the Ted Cruz's, etc. Ted Cruz still has dreams of uh, being president. <laughs> anyway, um, no, they just want to do their podcast and and they don't actually want to do the jobs, right? They just wanted to be famous. She's already famous, so she's saying, "Well, since I already got famous, what am I still here then for?" Then step down. That way, I don't have to talk about you ever again, and it would be wonderful. I, I look forward to that day. Step down. Go be with your family. Not your husband though, because that didn't work out. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.